Six. 
actually used as a means of payment. So instead of having, you know, a note that you could use um, everywhere, and that would be the same, um, each bank just issued their own notes. And notes were actually handwritten, like this one.
featured a uh, vignette of Britannia um, just here, which was obviously a common feature on the banknote since 1694. The predominant colour was green, um, and notes were not dated, but obviously identified by the chief cashier at the time. And where's his signature? Series E note featured railway engineer 
2002. It featured prison reformer Elizabeth Thrine, which I have the Elizabeth Thrine uh, version here. And actually the um, Stevenson note, all of them were destroyed, or millions of them were, because it was discovered that, I know this is not funny, but it was discovered that the wrong year of his death had been printed on the notes. So it was completely withdrawn from circulation in November 2003. Um, so obviously those are incredibly rare if you can um, get your hands on one of them. And the original printing of the um, Elizabeth Fry note was also withdrawn when it was discovered that you could rub off the serial number. <laughs> So if you can find a genuine five pound note which you can rub off the serial number or print the uh, incorrect uh, death and the date of death of um, Stevenson then uh, you probably could be very rich. <laughs> so here's the portrait of Elizabeth Rye. There's a little scene of her in the prison reforming the prisons. You can probably um, find out more about that. And each of the notes has a um, security mark. So when you hold it up to the light, you, um, in this little white portion here, the, um, I guess it's like a hologram of uh, Queen Elizabeth comes through. So if you see people holding up notes in the light, um, it's just to see if the little security thing is there. Uh, because obviously forgeries can't have that, because there's no way of doing it. So that is um, one of the security notes. And then you've got this um, metal, like a shiny strip running down. And Obviously you have this like hologram thing here too. Just all ways to stop people counterfeiting these notes. The next note that we have is the ten pounds note and somebody has written on it. I don't know why they do that. I thought that was illegal, but do you see it all the time? People with big um, you know, especially in banks like they have like a strip of like marker pen over it or someone's written on it and it's just like that's not allowed surely but anyway the first bank of england 10 pound note was again issued in 1759 due to the um seven years war and war with france causing gold shortages the 10 pound note was actually withdrawn from circulation after World War II and was not reintroduced again until February 1964 when a new brown coloured note was introduced. In 1975, the Series D note featured nurse and public health pioneer Florence Nightingale on the reverse. And we all know how famous Florence Nightingale is. In 1992, the series E note was orange instead of brown, and on the reverse it featured Charles Dickens, but it was withdrawn in July 2003. But in November 2000, a second series E note was issued featuring Charles Darwin, and as you can see here, you can see Charles Darwin. Hummingbird. And again, it has the security, no, the security um, strip, the hologram bit that you hold up into the light, and the um, silver seal here. Again, it features a portrait of Queen Elizabeth, the serial number. signature of the chief cashier. So that is the 10 pound note. 
Shakespeare and the balcony scene from Romeo and Juliet on its reverse. In June 1991, this was again replaced by um, a series E Note, which featured the physicist Michael Faraday. But in 1999, this note had been so extensively forged and copied. The £20 note um, has been known to be one of the notes to be extensively copied and forged. Um, and um, it was reported in 2007 that 276 thousand notes out of 290,000 were actually forged. So that's nearly all notes, um, or all known cases, all known reports of forgeries. So the majority of um, cases of forgeries, they were actually genuine forgeries. A new design was introduced in um, 2006, which fe featured Scottish economist Adam Smith, and he was the first Scottish person to be featured on a Bank of England note. So again, you have the, the seal down here. And on the front, you have this bigger security seal here, instead of the, um, the circle in the middle here, when you shine it, when you hold it up to the light, it's actually here. So when you shine this portion up into the light, the figure of Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth, comes through, and then you know it's a genuine note. So, that is the the um, 
picture of this area when you hold it up to the light, you see um, the portrait of Queen Elizabeth. And on the back you have James Watt and Matthew Bond. Actually, a lot bigger than the um, the other notes. The size difference is quite um, quite noticeable. So, if you kind of put them in order, the five pound note is the smallest, and it's actually quite cute, and I like it. It's quite easy to put in your purse, and then you have the ten pound note. Which is slightly bigger than the five pound note and a little bit wider, as you can see. So the ten pound note is slightly bigger than the five pound note. And then again, the twenty pound note is just a little bit bigger than the ten. And then the fifty pound note, again, is bigger and wider. So five, ten, 20 and 50 50, 60, 70, 85 So there is 85 pounds here And with the old notes, we'll disregard this one because it's probably not printed to size <laughs> The tensioning note is smaller and thinner So now I'm going to tell you some interesting facts about British money. So there are 1.5 billion 20 pound notes in circulation, which is worth 30 billion. And there is approximately 48 billion pounds in circulation and in 1024 AD apparently that is the um, the year when um, banknotes were first used or recorded as being used and that was in China and in 1694 was the year when the Bank of England first issued its first note. 830 million is the number of banknotes which is worth 11.4 billion pounds um, has been taken out of circulation or destroyed because of um, because they were too poor quality. Wow, that's a crazy amount. And 2,529 is the number of requests received by the Bank of England to replace notes, which is approximately worth 882,000 pounds. Um, because they were damaged, because they had been washed. <laughs> um, and to help combat this, the Bank of England are actually going to be introducing plastic notes um, sometime in 2016, which is quite common for um, uh, places like Australia, who also have plastic notes. And they are more durable and waterproof, so I think it's a good idea. And the most interesting fact that I have about uh, British notes is that they are all contaminated with cocaine. <laughs> According to the FS FSS, the largest provider of forensic services in the UK, uh, to the police forces, they actually say that traces of the drug can be found on any banknote. 
regardless of its geographical location. They say it takes about two weeks for a new note to pick up the drug, either because it was handled by somebody who has used cocaine recently, or it is contaminated by contact with other contaminated currency. Which is actually incredibly worrying, uh, but also incredibly interesting, so I'm holding notes contaminated with cocaine. So I wonder how that would work when you go through airport security, and, you know, when if they scan you, and, you know, put your belongings through a scanner or a drug thing, I don't know how it works, but, you know, if it's all contaminated. my mind when I was doing my research for this video, when every note is contaminated with cocaine. So now even these banknotes, which probably weren't around in the time when co cocaine was proliferant, I can't say that word, when cocaine was rife, I've now contaminated them with cocaine by touching them with So, that's it guys. I hope that you have enjoyed this, um, interesting, uh, well, it was interesting for me researching all the different facts about the notes. I'm such a history geek, so I really enjoyed it. So, I hope that you have found this video relaxing as well as informative. And don't forget to check out my previous videos on money, old British money and current British money. Again, thank you to Andrew for making this video happen. Thank you again for watching guys. Please feel free to leave me a 